Oh, it's good, YouTube. It's Anthony Lyons back again with another video for you. Uh, back in this boat. Part one was the speaker install of the Rockford Fosgate. Speakers that light up. I did all eight. Go back and see part one if you want to check that out. This is all about part two. Part two. We got this compartment in here. And I'm going to attempt to build a nice little box for two tens in this compartment. I'm gonna do a down fire box. We'll get the carpet to match. Try to get it pretty, pretty concealed and put away. You'll be able to throw some things in, on top. So we'll uh, see what we can do in this little compartment. Get the two tins in there. Oh man, it's raining. Good old Washington. So stay tuned for the pictures and footage of the two of Rockford tins going in the boat. This is part two. And there we go. The uh, holes, as you can tell from the pictures, are cut out for the tin. Box is constructed. Uh, because this is going into a boat, I use the uh, birch plywood. And I'm also going to primer seal the box. And then after the primer sealer, I'm going to use the Raptor, uh, Raptor uh, spray. Uh, use that for a bed liner and trucks. Works really well, I've used it before. So I'll show you the uh, steps and process on sealing this bad boy up. And then we'll put some feet on here so it can kind of uh, rust up off of the bottom of the compartment. You'll see the two feet, it's probably like a foot over here and a, and a foot over here that get, I guess you call it a cleat, foot, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> So uh, stay tuned for all that and uh, continue with this box build for the boat. Stay tuned. Well, YouTube, this is where we're at on the box for the boat. Uh, as you can see, I have primered and sprayed <clears throat> the Raptor bed liner on the box, but even your greatest installers <laughs> fuck up sometimes. So I made a big mistake and I uh, wasn't paying attention and I drilled the holes for the speakers in the wrong side of the box, but hey, this is my fix for it. Um, just made a plastic PVC plate on top that bolts in with stainless steel hardware. Um, as you can see, they have on the feet there that I made, you'll see from the pictures too. Um, have some inserts in there so that they can bolt in. That way when I put the box in, a customer will be able to place anything they want on top I'm gonna get some carpet to match. I'm also gonna paint the box, uh, probably I think it's a medium gray. So <laughs> good lesson learned there. Pay attention to what you're doing. And uh, if not, you're gonna spend some time fixing the, the problem. So stay tuned.
more pictures and the final reveal of the dual 10 inch box for the Cobalt boat. All right, stay tuned. All right, YouTube, there we have it. Dual 10 inch subwoofer box is all complete. As you can see, I have a top plate wrapped in carpet, stainless steel screws. Uh, that is so that the customer can throw things in and out, won't damage the subs. Um, again, the box is uh, made out of Baltic birch, primered and uh, sealed with the Raptor bed liner. Um, also painted it gray just to kind of match a little bit. Um, other than that, everything came in good, came out good. Uh, this is part two. Go back and check part one uh, where I put in all the speakers that light up. And now part three will be the new amp rack that goes in. We've got four Rockford Fosgate amplifiers and some distribution blocks and a little surprise for the customer. So please stay tuned, click like, share, subscribe. Back here at Kitsap Blake. Had a bunch of trees cut down. Pretty busy over there at the lake today. So stay tuned, AL Designs.